sorts of things. So I'll be watching uh, all different things all the time. There's nothing one specific that I want to watch. But if uh, if there's something you want to watch, hell, tell me about it and I'll I'll stick it on. So I found one which is the um, which I thought was weird, which is cardboard boats with engines. And I can't get my head around this. It's a cardboard boat that people sit in, but it doesn't dissolve and fall apart. So I'm I'm curious. So I'm gonna we're gonna check it out now. Oh, the cardboard boats. It's soaky. Oh, this is the problem. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they do soak. Cardboard they do soak. They do sink. Boats. Actually, just cardboard boats in general. A lot of people have made these things. They look pretty interesting. Most of them are usually like high school, college, like class things where people race across Link the pool. Link in the description paddles. below for they're, this video. They're if you pretty want slow it. and they're not very fast. So, with what we do on the channels, we usually put big engines in things and you know make things go as fast as possible. Oh, and we I have love this challenge from another YouTuber, Lewis Wise. W e i s z. Nobody cares. Text on the screen. Oh. There you go. <laughs> he challenged us to build a cardboard boat, so we are going to do that. I can I can only imagine that they put some sort of wax coating over the cardboard to waterproof it. They must, they must put something over the cardboard to waterproof it. There's no way it would last very long. And if they're sitting on it as well, how do the feet not go through the bottom if they're sitting on it? If you could make a cardboard boat, that would float indefinitely. Hell, I might go for it. I just don't see how it'd be strong enough. Structurally to hold you in it. You know this is kind of like an extreme fire hazard? This is a bunch of carpet anywhere. I always want to learn how to do that video technique. I always think it was cool as hell. They must put some work. Yeah, they must. They must put like a wax coating on the cardboard. They've got to. It can't just be pure cardboard. It's a lot of work going into making a cardboard boat, isn't it? And there's no wood part on these. Bizarre. Oh, that's horrifying. <laughs> We got the Rotomax 150cc electric motor, 3 a U-joint thing welded to a stop lock collar thing. We got a Master Force, 3 a inch extension. I don't think this made it go this fast. That is horrifying. I would not want to that do that. turns pretty fast. That's kind of horrifying, actually. I think <laughs> it's actually going to move quite a bit of water. Now it's time to take a minute Horrifying. to talk about the sponsor for this video. If you don't know right, what World so of Warships is, it's a uh... free-to-play map. To cut the video length down, I'm just going to skip it. Sorry guys. But World of Warships will be sponsored for their video. So we have the steering wheel here made out of cardboard, obviously. Some paracord, some tubes here, and it goes to the bar filler. <laughs> How are you going to sit without right. crushing the cardboard? <laughs> I'm not really surprised if we're going real fast all of a sudden it just seems to let's go and just wipes out. I mean, so when the cardboard goes in the water and you get in the cardboard boat, does the water stop you going through the so cardboard? So for the boat builds, we had different strategies. Sam actually had a good idea of like taking one of the models we had and he did all the work. He actually pulled the projector up and blew it up. I had to trace yeah. every single piece from a picture. <laughs> And then pretty much trace it well, on the Maybe like shrink it wrapped it, it in just one big and piece of heat heat shrink. It pretty great. I was thrilled with that idea. I, I would never have thought of something like that, but it made a ton of sense. Yeah. I used four bottles of Gorilla Glue. <laughs> so we went a little overboard with the Gorilla Glue. <laughs> Almost forgot. I missed a step. So we used it for the whole thing. <laughs> oh, the whole thing. I'll give you stern talking to you about wasting all these resources. <laughs> what do you mean? Rudder, you mean? Yeah, rudder, you mean? Oh. You Come wouldn't on, trust it. I, uh -huh, no, I, I don't think I would trust it. I it would most probably, I, I can imagine about. it would float for you took a, more practical approach a few mm -hmm. minutes. So I just kind of sketched everything out and, and then start sinking. As long as I put a couple apart. firm, basically two by fours in there, I wouldn't have much problem. You can't, they don't break. And then I kind of just covered it. So I basically made a frame and then covered it with a cardboard shell. Nice. Yeah, yeah and that worked pretty good because we had right. a boat that looked more like a traditional like planing hole with a with, a, with a, basically a inboard drive because yeah. I want to use that giant electric motor hat because like mm -hmm. that's that's about 13.5 horsepower 
So that's what we did. Right. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, and I uh, made it both that looked a lot more like. Could a be a sub new spot. I wasn't so concerned <laughs> yeah. about where my motor was going to get. Mounted, Actually, I dude, just yeah. Stick it on the back. I'll tell you what. If the they made this into a spot, like a competition type thing, I would check it out because not only do you want to see who's going to win, like get there or get where we need yes. to the fastest. You also, who's going to float the longest? I've never even sat There's got to be at some point where the, the cardboard just gives in. I've sat in it, and it's solid. And, and how much, and how, how many people be sat there watching it, just waiting for it just to fall apart? I would be. And I bet with enough time, people come up, people could come up with some, like, insane designs. Was that a Lego submarine? It floats! For now. God, I would be so nervous. All right, boys. Wait, should we surprise you? All right, hang on. Oh, he's out. He's done. Oh my God! Oh my God! Going the boat. <laughs> I know in World War Two they tried to make a battleship out of ice. They also tried to make a battleship out of like uh, wood chippings that are frozen together. <laughs> this is like the wood frozen wood chipping thing, isn't it? Very stable. You, there's something on the hull, though. There is something on the hull. You can see it reflecting in the sun. So it's either a waxy layer. The Mythbusters do a duct tape. Well, yeah, the Mythbusters built a duct tape boat, and that was absolutely fine. So I immediately just threw my boat in the water and simply sent it. Right. What if you, and the there's a problem here. We were debating where I should be sitting in the boat. I was like, well, I should sit as low as possible. We're like, ah, I'll just put it in the middle. What if you made a cardboard so boat and then wrapped the hole in the boxes? In, uh, and the center gravity was just a little too high for where the rudder was. So there was some severe rolling pitching moments. So basically, I started giving gas and whatever. I cut the rudder a little too hard because it's really crappy. And oh I went overboard. Oh, no. So that was horrible. I swam all the water. We unplugged the batteries and we were like, oh, oh we're, we're done here. There's, yeah. there's no way we're I mean, look at the like steering wheel. Really, it's only got a bit of water. Right, it's right. falling apart. Which I, I didn't want to win by default. I wanted to at least toss them both in. The speed controller did not get wet. The transmitter was completely soaked, but I shook it out and it was totally fine. We let it dry out for a bit. All right, so I take the floaty to the battery because I'm pretty sure this is all going to come apart in the water. So we're going to be totally hosed. I don't want to lose my battery. The bottom of the lake. It's a lot of battery to lose. You put yours in the water. Yup. Right, and then we put mine in the water and we simply just raced them around. Why is it going to propel on when it's low in the water? I mean, that looks kind of soggy now, doesn't it, really? Alright, let's try this again. How's he not going through the bottom of that boat? My foot. This is very uncomfortable. Put it in the water, you idiot. You might move then. I wish there's things like this in the UK where we could go to a lake and stuff and do this sort of thing. There's not really anything got it for you to Put it in the water, that guy's just pissing me off now. See, that looks really cool. We want to get um, an electric prop for a boat for like 100 quid and just go off and make a boat and just mess around on the water all day that'd be ace oh. look at that thing go jesus it's like a speedboat it's actually planing as well oh my god how's it not falling apart though See, the hammer said if they put something on the hull, like uh, a protective coating or anything like that, the hammer said if they use anything like that. God, that looks like fun, though, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Oh, I want to play on board. Oh. Look, look, you see that? The cardboard at the back side to come apart. I 
Oh, it's all it's just turned to a big soggy mess now. It's going under. <laughs> it's done for. Oh, I would love, absolutely love to do something like that. He's still going. And that was the end of my vote. Now, oh. Lewis wins because his vote was still afloat. Mine For was sure. done after about a minute and 30 seconds. That was fast. That was pretty quick. <laughs> Probably he was ripped uh, apart. That was, I only got about half throttle. I couldn't go past that. It's, it's something you'd like to do. Yeah, cool. yeah I'd, I'd love to do it. Is out. there anything you think you could have done differently? It's than not something you do in the UK when oh, yeah. it's cold and go wet and damp all the time. Lewis, his boat is really sturdy. After a little bit of motor trouble with the weed whip over here, uh, it did it did start to go. Wow. Though it was a bit of a weird technique to kind of bring it in and out of the water, shave some prop off. Just put the thing in the water, you Did kind of work. Wow. Oh. Oh. Yeah. And mine, it was fast, like fast from the get go, like real quick. But the problem was. The rudder post was completely soaked with water, so wet cardboard is never very sturdy. So what happens was it just simply started going left, right, a little bit more, and I just tore the whole rudder out of the boat. Oh, this is the problem! <laughs> so then I was like, well, this is the rudder. What about the hole in the boat? Oh yeah, we're full of water, and we're sinking. But I gotta say, if this was a drag race, I think you totally would have dusted me. Honestly, I think if it was point to point and we, you hadn't capsized. Yeah, they were, they were, they were interesting. But anyways, they yeah. were two different designs. They both worked pretty well, actually. I'm, yeah. So I was impressed by these. I, I think we probably... Yeah, uh, I'll be honest. Fastest. I was I was way yeah, more impressed. I, I, I was I was very very impressed how long those boats lasted. I mean, one was still going. Uh, the boring shell, boring shape boat that was still going. It had no problems. But the uh, the other one, uh, I, I prefer the one that sank first. But yeah, I wish they'd shown us how they waterproofed it. That's the one thing uh, I kind of wish they'd shown us because then if somebody were wanting to do it. You, you know, you could go off and do that. So, you'd give it a go. Prototype it. Yeah. Yeah, you could prototype it and stuff, I suppose. Uh, I mean, you can get spray glue. So, what if you, like, spray glued the whole of the, the hull and then put, like, a plastic wrap over it? Uh, which was then completely watertight. You'd then have a, a watertight shell. So, you could use it indefinitely. I don't know. It could be fun, though.